Welcome to Gluten Free Best Friends. So it's currently 109 degrees outside, but since it's fall everywhere else in the country, I decided I would make a nice fall harvest pizza. For today's recipe, we're going to need some Bob's Red Mill pizza crust mix, some butternut squash, Brussels sprouts, tomatoes, hazelnuts, sage, nutmeg, some olive oil, some lettuce, some vegan butter, some vegan Parmesan cheese, and some salt and pepper. The first thing that I'm going to do is roast the Brussels sprouts and the butternut squash since they take the longest. Then I can get the pizza crusts ready. So I have the ends chopped off of my Brussels sprouts, so I'm just gonna cut these up into really tiny little bite-sized pizzas. Okay, so now that these are all chopped up, I'm just gonna toss them in my bowl and I'm going to drizzle on some olive oil and then add some sage and some nutmeg. I've already peeled it and cut off the ends, and so I'm gonna cut these into small little pieces, um, about inch to a half inch size-wise. So small enough so that you can, you don't have to eat a huge gobble bite of the pizza just to get a piece of the butternut squash in your mouth. My Brussels sprouts and my butternut squash are currently roasting in the oven, so I'm gonna get the pizza crust ready. Since I'm using the Bob's Red Mill pizza crust mix, there's a handy dandy packet of yeast in here. So I'm going to add this with um, my cup and a half of warm water into my mixing bowl. Here we go. There's the yeast. I'm gonna put in my water. Okay, so this had a chance to sit for a little bit, so I'm going to start by adding my eggs and my oil and the mix. Okay, so I'm going to just start mixing this all together. There we go. Give it a little bit till it's nice and smooth and then I can roll it out. I have some gluten-free baking flour just to help roll it out. So I'm just going to grab some, toss it on. There we go. And maybe put a little bit of this on top. Keep it from sticking. All right. And we just roll it out. All right, so I definitely made a mess, but I also made a pizza crust. So I'm going to transfer this onto a pan um, and bake it for about seven to 10 minutes um, before I put the ingredients on top. Okay, while the pizza crust is cooking, I'm going to quickly uh, get together my brown butter and hazelnut mixture. So I'm gonna use a stick of the Earth Balance Vegan Butter, and I have two thirds cups of um, hazelnuts that are chopped up. These are roasted. There's that, and I'm also going to add some sage to this, and some nutmeg. Okay. Okay, so here's the pizza crust. I have my butternut squash, I have the Brussels sprouts, some greens, I have the uh, brown butter and hazelnut mixture, and I'm also gonna put on some tomatoes. So I'm just gonna cut these up, just cut them in half. To start, I'm going to first drizzle a little bit of the butter mixture, some of the greens on. There we go. The butternut squash to the top. and some Brussels sprouts. All right, some of the tomatoes. Put those on top. Okay, and then a little bit more of the brown butter and hazelnut mixture to the top. There we go. Perfect. And my super special addition is a little bit of the Go Veggie uh, dairy-free Parmesan cheese. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on top. There we go. And it will be ready to go in the oven. Okay, so it's all done. The crust is cooked. Everything is cooked. It looks fantastic and it smells delicious. So I'm going to cut a piece to try. There we go. All right, I'm ready to taste it. Here we go. Mmm. That is really good. Tastes like bow. This is really delicious. And as always, the Bob's Red Mill crust just is 
so easy to make and so delicious. And this is really, really good. I really like, I think my favorite part of all of this is the hazelnut uh, brown butter mix. Really, really good flavor. Um, highly recommend you make this. Um, and if you'd like some more detailed instructions of how you can get this recipe and where you can find the Bob's Red Mill or some of the Gold Veggie Parmesan cheese, be sure to check the link to the blog in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.